Okay. Hello everyone. This is Sonia with Stamping Around the Dining Room Table. I am an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. If you do not have a demonstrator of your own, I would be happy to be yours. You can go to my webpage, stamparoundthetable.stampinup.net. There you can take a look at our catalog. You can order things. You can um, also, if you're interested in having like a party, which we call a workshop, or um, joining my team, or you can all all that information is there. You can join there, or you can um, leave me a message, a comment here, or you can go to my Facebook page, which is called Stamping Around the Dining Room Table, and you could um, either leave me a comment there or private message me there. Okay, so I hope everyone is doing well. I am starting to show some different things from our new annual catalog, which is this. We just, um, this just went live last week, and um, so we're really, you know, I'm really excited to show you some of the new things from there. Excuse me. Oh. Um, we do have some different special things going on um, this month regarding um, if you did have a workshop or party, if you wanted to join, um, things like that. So um, this is, and today happens to be May 12th, 2021. So if you're watching this and it's beyond that time, there it will, it will be finished. But um, if it is something that you would like to hear more about, um, please just reach out to me. Okay. So today I'm going to be showing you two, working with two sets from this because they coordinate well together. I did, um, introduce these on my Facebook page yesterday on a Facebook live. You could go back to see more about it there if you're interested. They are found in our annual catalog. The first one is called is a Beauty of the Earth Suite. And it's found on pages 10 and 11. It has paper, it has stamps and dies. The dies themselves, if you wanted to see them better, get the right, are on page 158. Okay. The paper that goes with this is on page 130. I'll just show you that quickly. It's right down here. It's um, 1150. You get two of each paper. It's 12 by 12 and it's two-sided designs on both sides. Okay, the other set I'm going to be using is called our Inspired Thoughts Bundle. It has um, our Inspired Thoughts stamp set and um the inspiring canopy dies which are back here right there okay so i'll just show you those a little bit closer here this is i'm gonna move that out of the way for now this is the stamp set for beauty of friendship it has these are like two step stamping you put one over the other this is so there's that size tree, there's that size tree there, which these also could be used as bushes if you wanted. This is a, um, obviously the trunk of a tree with branches. And then the um, sentiments, thinking of you, I believe in you, hello, thank you, Friendship, re friendships refresh the soul, you truly inspire me. And then we've got this, you can put, you know, like to be like a little... Um, shadow under the tree and there's some little that could either be like stars or something up in the sky or snow I guess too you could do that or it could just be to help fill in some little areas this is the stamp or the die set that goes with this um, it cuts out a tree trunk this would cut out like that would fit over this tree and this is something that fits over the top with, lay right over the top of this it would actually be this way to give some dimension to the leaves on the trees here's a smaller oh it's got some little pieces in it still but anyway because i used it to cut out some stuff um and then this you can stamp these and then you can 
th this is cut out with this this is cut out with this it's got two different little sentiment um little things you can cut out for sentiment little tags and this i don't know how easy it is to see but it's got two little birds on it okay this other set is the stamps are all sentiments but it this is the die set it this is all one piece right here okay and then they have these other cuts out and I'll show you a little bit better that in a little bit but see this so that you can embellish your trees and um, parts of those push stick up to give more dimension to your leaves this can be used to cut um, like it could be like a knoll and you know like a little hill or whatever and the grass it could be a snow drift and then this little circle and the sentiments with this are sheltering you with love at a time when words fall short thank you so much congratulations sending healing thoughts your way thinking of you on your special day wishing you all the beautiful gifts of christmas hello peace joy love you make a difference every day with heartfelt sympathy um, it's your time to be remembered to feel appreciated and to know you're celebrated so pretty much an all-around um, set so that's kind of nice there I will show you a little bit closer up here's the, the papers okay so these are two-sided and they're different on each side I'll just show you the so here's this and the back of it all these different colored leaves this when you look in the center, it's like you're looking right straight up into the trees, which could be an interesting, you could possibly use that on um, a scrapbook page if you want. It would give you a very interesting view there. The back is all this multicolored, which could be fall, fall leaves. This is all this green and um, with almost like it was painted and you know, smudged there. And then this, these groupings of trees. This, this leaves, different leaves there, and look at these beautiful trees. That'd be a wonderful Christmas or winter scene, wouldn't it? Then there's this, which you can if you cut it along here, and you could put on two different, you know, um, scrapbook pages, or you can do a, a card front. I did use it for a card front. I'll show you that shortly. And then here's kind of some watercolor trees, but um, depending on exactly what part you use it, they may not necessarily look like trees. Okay, and then this side has a bunch of, it's like you're looking into the forest and there's a bunch of different colored leaves, but also you can see some of the um, tree trunks in, through it. And the back is just like you were looking at wood or maybe the bark of, a, of the tree. The colors that they um, told us are in this bumblebee, Cajun craze, cinnamon cider, early espresso, Mary Merlot, misty moonlight, mossy meadow, night of navy, and old olive. And I find sometimes there'll be some colors that I think are extra colors that they didn't mention. Like in here, it looks, these leaves, it looks like there's maybe a few additional colors to that. So, all right. So I did want to show you some cards that I have already made. And this is one my sister made and she played around a little bit and you can see it looks almost those trees look almost watercolored and she wanted to have like some trees in the back and these in the front and then there was a little bit of just some white space she wasn't sure what to do with it and that's the spot that she just used if I can get it here just this with a really with a lighter green and just you know stamped all over using that just to kind of fill in a little bit and until I told you it pretty much probably just kind of sank into the background um, which is really was the purpose of it so it wasn't so glaring <laughs> and um, just put hello on there she did use like in the sky and on here she used our um, blending brushes to get the that and then she added the, some of the artistry bloom sequins this is the one I did where I told you I, um, let me just grab that paper again this paper I trimmed it down so that it was um, four and a quarter this from this way and five and a half well actually it's four this way and five and a quarter that way 
and then I just had it down and I had this and I didn't want to necessarily put one of the other trees in there but I wanted to kind of do a little highlight so I did trim out one of the these these trees here something like that and I just um, put a little bit uh, did a little bit of sponging around the edge I'm not sure how much I like it it's a little different I what I did too was I just put some um, adhesive on the center and then I kind of just worked it around to just kind of pull these edges up a little bit to give it a little more dimension um, it's not necessarily my favorite thing but I wanted to try something different you know every now and then we have to do something that maybe we're not as comfortable with and but overall I like the card and then I used these um, are blue I forgot what they call them exactly but they do have their they were last in our Christmas last year, and I believe they're going to be in our fall and mini catalog, fall Christmas mini catalog again this year. Then I wanted to play around with the trees a little bit and do like a four season type of thing. This card isn't finished. I'm not sure what else I'm going to do with it, but I, you know, it's one of those, um, I forgot what they call them now, but you know, it fits like a legal size envelope. And so this one I just um, stamped the tree and then I'm not sure how well it shows up on camera but I used some of our um, retired frost white is that what it's called yes frost white um, this all-purpose ink it came like this they retired that but I had it and I tried to do a little bit using our white um, craft white ink and um, and also we have these pens. I've had these for a while. This is like a chalk marker and it didn't really turn out very well. But so then I realized I had a very thin brush. So I just kind of touched that up just like, you know, they'd have some snow on it in the winter if it had just snowed. This one, I tried to make it look almost like there's some maybe cherry block, maybe a cherry tree or apple tree or whatever. It's got pink flowers on it. Then this one, just all green for summer. And then this one, um, I did a combination of three different colors. I believe it was the Cajun Craze, the man, um, Mango Melody, and um, Bumblebee. Those were the colors I think I used there. And I couldn't figure out, I don't know whether I want to put a ribbon around it, string around it, maybe just some bling. And I have to look through, because there wasn't a... Um, I want. I would love to say something like, you know, friends uh, um, throughout the year or all times of the year, or, you know, something that kind of would bring in the fact that these are from four different, you know, from the different seasons. So, all right. And then I wanted to do something showing, like showcasing um, the dies. So this one, this was the, oops extra little piece there this is these dies this is these dies is that good english i, sh I this is the, the the dies for that does the four trees together and then these i told you how it will do extra um you can play around with it and i don't know how well you can see because what i did is i did like three or four of each of them and I just like layered them, just kind of started at the top and just worked my way down. And some of them I only put glue like on the bottom so the top would go over the other. But this right here, I don't know if you can really, how well you can see it, but wait, I think I have, I think I had a couple extra little of the smaller ones in here. Let me just, see. I thought I kept it, but well, silly me, I thought I, oh, here's one. Here they are. I don't know how well you can see this white on the back so let me so and then right here see there's it it cut it but it didn't cut all like here and there it cut all the way through so it left like little holes but then these others they're cut on one neck they're only cut like on one side and not the other side so you can like lift them up and give them a little more dimension to your tree and that's what I did on here so it's a little difficult to see it probably on but like there and there and and then too I played with it and I did that and then I put the glue on it so you might want to go back and once you do that and just kind of lift them up okay 
So, and then um, I use the, from Feed Your Friendship, I use this saying, you truly inspire me. And I used one of our um, punches, our everyday label punch, to punch that out. And then I used our um, one of our sponge jobbers. Um, to go around the edge just to soften that white edge a little bit um, with some old olive. Okay, so then what I thought I would do with you was to kind of show like this, this green and this blue are paper. I used this that looks like the sky it was the back of this is on the back and then that one it's like the sky and some clouds so i use that and this paper um because they actually and see how it's darker some places lighter some so that's what gave the variation because i use that also to cut those trees out i used it for this and then i used this I just kind of put it, well, it goes this way. I just kind of moved, you know, put it where I wanted it and cut it. It was a little bit bigger, so I could just cut it to the edge of the card. Okay. And I just, the blue just goes down a little bit below that, so there's just a little bit of overlap. And then I just added some of our um, basic rhinestone jewels to it. So then I thought with you, I would do something similar. I do want to do things just a little differently with this. So I thought what I might do, I do want to run it this way there. So I'm going to, that will be glued down here. And then this, I just want to be a little careful because I probably should have had the green either a little bigger, the blue a little smaller. But to make it just a little different, I thought I'd tear it. And if you pull it, just have your fingers right along there and you just pull it towards yourself you can see the white edge of the paper and if you want you can leave that white you could you could um use your sponge dauber and also let me try on here this is the back side but we can at least see see it do just like the edge so which maybe I will. I'm just trying to decide. Sometimes that's why I try to decide do I want it, do something or not. So let me just see. This had a little bit of old olive on it, which is the lighter green in there. Let me just see. Where's my, where's my scrap paper that I just had? Here's some older stuff. I just want to make sure get. And then you would just see so it still has some white but it's maybe not as stark against there but it just depends on what you want you know what effect you want okay and I could have made it curve a little more than I did. this one I just kind of kept it because as I said I wasn't sure how much space I had to play with because I cut it to the size I wanted and then I realized oh wait maybe it would be good to to do show you the tearing and then I didn't even if I hadn't really thought it through before I, I might want to do that. So, all right. Yeah, that goes this way. So this, I'm going to, and I, I don't want any of the white showing behind it. So if I can get it here, it wants to stick. I got to put my head over here just a little bit. I just want to get it, I can get this top two corners lined up there. Then this will go right there. Okay. So, and if you wanted to give it a little more dimension, you could put this on with um, dimensionals, but I'm just going to have it again, just let me line. If you can get those corners lined up, then you got the sides and the bottom. Oh, it may be, maybe it's over a little bit, but I'm just leaving it. Okay. Now for this one, I thought instead of doing all of this, because I have to tell you, one of the things, if you do decide to do something like this, give yourself time. You got to be patient because it takes some time to really get in here and get all of these up. Okay. And um, especially like one, 
you put the glue on, you may need to go back in and do it again. But I really like the dimension it gives. So then I thought, well, let me try these, you know, these littler ones. And I may actually just, the others I slid behind, I may see about sliding this behind also. There, it doesn't have to go all the way down. And I was thinking I might like two of them. Maybe have one a little down a little more than the other. Maybe something like that. Maybe I should have had a third one. Because <laughs> a lot of times you just have odd numbers. But and what I did with this, and actually what I did with the trees here, because when you cut them, the branches are like they're really let me show you here on the storyboard. See how these branches are? These I just put some glue on the back. Um, which I showed sometimes just can put like a pool of glue and then take like a piece of sponge like this and just dab it in there and then dab it all over. And, and then on our um, silicone mat, it doesn't, any, the glue that stays on here, you can rub it off later and it will keep your work area clean. But, so what I, but what I did here this time was, and on the backs of these is I used our, um, our adhesive is called adhesive sheets and it's 12 inches long by six inches wide and it's double sided. I can show you that here maybe. Didn't think about having a piece out. It's double sided and you can see right here there's like it's divided in thirds here. Okay, and then you take that side off and you put it on the back of whatever you're gonna cut out. Okay, and then you do that, and then you cut it out, and when you take it off, when you're done, you're getting ready to put this on, it makes it, turns it into a sticker, this white part, if I can get a hold of it here somewhere, there it goes, just the edge, oh, maybe not, there's my, suddenly the paper's trying to separate instead of the white coming off, there, okay. And I don't know how long you can see that shiny, that's glue. Okay. So I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to wait on this one. I'm not sure exactly where I want it, but I mean, if I want to. But, so then I thought, okay, what do I want to do? So I tried a couple things. This and this I cut out using the paper. Um, and I use, let me just show you on here. The paper I used, the green was, was this one. And what was the other was the all over. What's this one? If I can get a hold of it, it was this one. Okay. So I could do this and then I thought what would it look like if I did two of them and kind of tried to layer so I could have a little bit bigger tree whether I did it like this might if I was going to do it I might do it like that yeah, I think I'd do it this way whoop but which one do I, I think I want it more like this I think I want less white showing so maybe like that um or I could use I want more, a little bit more flowerish looking. And again, if I wanted it to be a bigger, fuller tree, do I want something like that? Or do I like it better? Or does it look better this way? And then I thought, or I could stamp. I could stamp them out, stamp them and cut them out, I did, which is what I did in here. I did, again, I went around the edge. So you can either do it like that so it's white, or you could put it... So it doesn't, it's not as stark. And again, you just put some of this on, the ink on, and just, and actually I think I used the mossy metal for the others, and I probably should have used the lighter one because I think I'm going to like the old olive is a little bit lighter than the mossy metal. And that... Or then I also made it a couple of the bigger tree. And actually that might be kind of neat if I did that. And 
this. Or again, I could do two of those if I wanted. I might like that. Maybe I'll even kind of put this one over that a little bit. Let me just see. So this one I didn't put in. I would just have to, you know, glue that down. But let me just try something here. I even want it kind of like this. I might like that. Okay, so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna just do the green and this could either be your tape runner or you could just do a little bit of glue. The, the glue will come out. Do it over here so I don't make a mess of my works. There. So. Whoop. It's stuck to my finger. Oh, here. I'm probably wait. I don't even know if I'm out of the screen there. I just realized that I could be out of the screen. My computer's not cooperating for me to look and see how things are going. I don't know why, but lately when I start my Facebook, it used to stay up the whole time without a problem. Now it just wants to. Okay. Then, before I take the backing off, I just want to check this again. Does that look about where I want it? I'm going to put the lighter edge one on. That I do want over just I still I do want it over that a little bit at least. All right, the let me just try it outside here so that I can see the placement and then I can move it down behind. I'm talking to myself almost. I'm sorry, I'm probably not loud enough for you. I think I like it better there than like this. I am gonna put it, I think, just about here. There. Alright, so I'm gonna Again, take the backing off the bottom of the tree. And if I wanted, I could have put the backing on the on the top. But really, the main reason for something like this is when you're like this part back here. Although with this one, it'd be a little easier to put the glue on than the other trees. I should have probably not even tried to glue that down until I was finished with this. And if you wanted to give even more dimension, you could put dimensionals behind this, but I think I'm going to just do it like that. And now I just want to, I'm going to put just a, I know I used the, earlier I used the um, tape runner, but I want to make sure this edges, so I'm a little awkward, but I just want to get the, I want to get this along the edge here. There. There. And if you wanted, you could cut out some of the birds and maybe have them in the sky or just leave it like that. All right, and then I was thinking, I wanted to show you a couple things here. So I was thinking for the sentiment right here, I would use this one. Thinking of you on your special day and let me see. I guess I'll do that in the green. I'm going to do that. Was a see how I like it with the lighter green. Is that other over there is a darker green? Okay, let that dry for a moment, and I'm going to cut it out on here now. dries pretty okay so this does fit in here pretty well sometimes though you have a sentiment that's a little bigger let me just see if I can oh let me try this one there's another paper I had some so well, first I'm going to just let me cut this out and I'll show you what else I was I'm pretty sure that one's a little bigger. And then you just kind of center it how you want it. 
and then I'm going to go around the edge of that also. Okay. Now, I'm going to try this. Yeah, because that's going to be a little. Friendships refresh the soul. Okay. And obviously it's All right. So suddenly I have all this stuff flying all over there. So what if I wanted to do this, it kind of just fits in there, but it's very tight. But this is what you can do. Bring it in. And actually, I think I need it to be a little bit narrower. This so I'm going to take it down a little bit. I don't need it much, but I do need a little. Okay. So like that. Bring this. It still is a little bit too wide, I guess. I should have probably measured that. And I, sometimes, you know, we just kind of do things on the fly. All right, that should fit in there now. All right, so if you in through the side and say it, we wanted a little bit more like right there. So, oh, I didn't cut that quite right. Now it's a little too thin, but put that about where you want it. Okay, and then this end, I did it here, I'll do it this way. And then over here, So even if it's not perfect, you at least get the idea of how any of any of the um, the punches you can make something a little bit longer or shorter. Like say if it was if that would have been too long, I could have done the same thing and just done the one end a little bit close, you know, smaller if if the sentiment was smaller. Okay, and you do that with any of them, and um, even if it has to go up this way there's room in there for it to fit see it'll come there it'll come down here so this is too big obviously but you know it could go down in either way so just you know so if it goes the other direction that you needed it bigger or smaller you could do it that way also it's just it's got to at least fit one way so you can slide it through but okay all right and then i think just to show see how I like having that the edge like that because otherwise it it just seems to soften it a little. Here it seems too it's too much abrupt I think between the green and the white. So this just helps soften the edge. Some of the things I show people, some of you have been doing this for a long time and you could there's a lot of things you could show me, but there are people who watch these that are new to stamping or maybe haven't had some of the experience the rest of us have. So that's why sometimes I do things that might seem old hat to some people. There are other people all the time that this is new to them. So I, I do like to include some of that information just for someone like that because... And then, you know what, the other thing I find too... Some things were techniques that people did maybe a number of years ago and and no one's done it for a while and suddenly someone resurrects it and it was, you didn't see it before. So to you, it's like this new thing and, you know, and you go, wow, I really like that. And then someone who's been around doing it more than longer and say, oh yeah, that was something they did a long time ago. Oh, really? Well, I just saw it now and I think it's cool. So, <laughs> you know. Everybody comes from different places and has, you know, and so anyway, and I think I'm going to do some of the, um, rhinestone basic jewels on this one also. So I think I'm going to put one up there. And you know what, too, some of our other stamp sets do have like, you know, the birds flying in the little V type looks. 
Um, that would also is something that you could consider about putting up there. If you wanted, you could put one of these on the, one of the trees, but I think I'm going to, I'm not going to do that. I think I'm going to, actually, I think on this one, I'm going to put, well, if I can get a hold of it, it wants to stick to me and not where I want it to go. I think I'm going to just put one of these on each end and that up there. I may change my mind about this one. I might put something, I think I will just like it like that. Okay. And I think I will dig out some of my, <laughs> some of my birds possibly and put them up there, or I could even just leave it like that. So, okay. All right. So that is, those are some a little bit fussier cards than some of the ones I did yesterday. Um, went on my Facebook page, but again, all that limits you when it comes to this kind of stuff is your imagination. You just can do whatever you want. So if there's something I did today that you thought, oh, I would not have done it that way. I would have done it this way. Great. Go and do it because you have the ability to do it the way you like. That's one of the great things about making your own cards is that you put your own personal touch to to it your own spin on it okay so I just want to put these out again so hopefully you can see them and look over at my computer they're a little down a little bit so let me move them up just a little so hopefully you can see them a little bit better I gotta play with this one a little more to see what I might want to add to it I might as I said put the birds and I think I'm gonna find those birds and put them in the sky um because I know if nothing else last was it last month's paper pumpkin I think had not April's March's paper pumpkin I think had some birds in it that, for the sky so I think I'm going to do that because I think I'll like that or you could put a sun in the sky if you wanted to and then you might want these a little darker but anyway see there's so many things you can do <laughs> so all right so if you do like this please give me a thumbs up and um if there, you have any questions or comments, I'd be happy, um, you know, to take a look at those and answer those. And if you have not subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Okay, so I'm here on Wednesday evenings at 7.30, and then I'm live on Tuesdays at 10.45 and in the morning and Fridays at 1.45 in the afternoon. I will be doing more with this on Friday. This week, I'm going to, Fridays, I try to um, do fancy folds on it. I try to call it fancy fold Friday. So anyway, so if you would like to see those or go back and see any other ones, if you go to my stamping or my um, Facebook page, Stamping Around the Dining Room Table, you'll be able to see it there. I will put some links below to that, to the one I did Tuesday, as well as my web page and um I think that's it. I'm trying to think of something else I was going to tell you. And I'll try to get in some um, information about the cards I made here for you. Okay? All right. So thanks for stopping by. Once again, this is Sonia with Stamping Around the Dining Room Table. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.